Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Wolfocity and welcome to another episode of Wrench. Now as you can see before me our car has exploded into a million bits. But in reality I actually just took everything apart and I bought all new parts that we needed. Just so that way you didn't have to sit through me going through the store and buying everything. So I already got everything tore apart. The entire front end, the rear end still needs to be done, but I think we're going to wait for episode 5 for that one. But today we're going to work on getting the complete front end rebuilt, and then we're going to work on the wheels and tires. And we're going to get all that shit done today. So as you can see, I have most of the bolts and nuts and whatever stuff that we need. I have most of that stuff in my pockets right now. So I think we're going to start, well, not think. Also, I have the I have the engine sitting right here, but we're gonna start with the subframe. That's the most important part. It's gonna hold everything in place, and then if we can, we're gonna put the steering rack back on, which we can do. Okay, so let's let's get the steering rack back on, so I have a good base of where everything goes. I think we have the bolts in our pockets. Sure do. And there's one up at the steering column, and that seems to be it. So um, next we can do the lower control arm. And we'll get the lower control arm on, and this is going to take these eccentric alignment bolts. Going to take these, which I got new ones because these have durability on them. We have to put the, the eccentric bolt washers. Oh, that's hard to say for me. There, get that on there. And then, I yeah, I have the nuts in my pocket. So go ahead and get those in there. Next up, we'll do the same thing to the other side, so the lower control arm. We'll get the eccentric alignment bolts. And I think we'll get these uh, end links. We'll get these in there. I don't. Yeah, this, this takes these bolts here. I'll pop these in there. I think that's all those take. It should be good. I'm going to go ahead and put the other one. Put the other one on. Alright. Um... Yes, I. Yeah, I do have the lower ball joint. Sorry, that's good. Couldn't remember exactly what I had. Now these front shocks, we don't really need to touch. They're at 12 hours on them. That I can live with. It's good enough for me. Oh God. <laughs> I think this goes in there. No. This is the same bolt. Okay, so that one fits. I'm just gonna take a lock washer. I don't remember exactly where that one goes. That one goes up top, I know that. Alright, so that is back in. I also if you couldn't clearly see that I already painted all the pieces. So that way we don't have any more mishaps like we did in episode three. Alright, I think we're gonna put the next shock body up and then all right so that don't fit I don't know where that goes yeah this one fits I think it's slightly shorter yeah yeah this is a m12 1.5 by 70 millimeter this one's a m12 1.5 by 80 millimeter so it is slightly different. I think that might go down here. I think this one goes right here. I think that's where that goes. I think it goes for the lower ball joint. Let's find out. It sure does. Look at that. We'll go ahead and get those on next too. Hopefully that doesn't prevent me from... That's the tie rod end. I don't want to put that on just yet. Hopefully that doesn't prevent me from putting on the other parts. Alright, so I need... That's this bolt, that locking washer. All right, 
Um, I really hope that we can actually fit this in here. Yeah, all right, cool, we can. Although in reality, you wouldn't be able to with that shock in the way. So we'll get that on, washer, and then the nut. And we'll do the same thing to the other side. We're just gonna basically just mimic exactly what we're doing on the other opposite side. And so I'm sorry if I'm going really quick with this, but I'm trying to speed things up here because we got a lot of stuff to do to this car and I don't want to sit here and dwell on a lot of things. So I'm just trying to get moving here. Just trying to move along. Um, that, yeah, that's fine. It just slips on there. Um, oh yeah, so another thing is if you buy new hubs for either the front or rear, you're going to need new wheel studs because these have durability on them so depending on what your specs are for what you're going going with for your car check your check your studs it's worth a look we got three castle nuts on that and then we should be able to set that on there get the front hub on uh, we'll put our cap on too before I forget then we'll get the rotor and then the brake assembly okay that's one side done so I already set up the brake pads and the brake hardware and the I need a new calipers I don't think I got one for this side no I didn't but it's fine it's only at 30 hours I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and live with it just because I forgot and I don't feel like getting it now so go ahead and get our castle nuts on there uh, there should, oh yeah, we need the outer tie rod. There we go. There's our third castle nut. All right. Uh, hub assembly can go on there and our axle nut is chilling over there because I didn't have room and I just took that apart. On accident. All right. So uh, you can still get that on there. Calipers, caliper, that's on. Okay, that is, poof. is that it? God, that was quick. I'm actually surprised I got all that put back together so quickly. So yeah, there, there's that. Uh, I also have some leftover bushings because I bought the uh, suspension bushing kit and I don't know I don't know where these go. I have two extra type one bushings and I'm not entirely sure where they go. And I've looked over all the control arms to make sure. So I have no clue. I'm also gonna bolt this thing back down to the frame. And then I'm gonna go ahead and probably rebolt this just because it was detached when I pulled the engine off and I didn't know I don't know I don't know if it's like not gonna count it or what but it's on there now all right so I still have two leftover nuts oh eccentric bolt nuts for this side I forgot to put these on oh no where is it it's on the bottom yeah okay whoo Good thing we can get to them. There. Now, that is pretty much the front end done. I'm hitting all the wrong keys, because why wouldn't I be? I also bought four new rims. I already got them pre-painted, so they're just black. And then I got four new tires. So here's the old ones, right here. So these are 40% life. And then the rims, a little 72%. So we're just going to go ahead and replace them just because. So we're going to go ahead and get that going now. I absolutely actually love this tire machine. I wish these were a real thing. And I wish I could use these at work. <laughs> they would make life so much easier. Alright, so we'll just start laying these out where they need to go. We actually might be able to do the rear end today, although I don't have all the parts I need. Or no, I do. 
I, don't know, I think I do. I think I've already gone through and decided everything I wanted to replace. So I'm going to go ahead and set that over by the oil. I did buy a new radiator. I already put the new radiator in. That took like two seconds to do. I got a new air filter. I got our coolant hoses right here. Painted them. So they're all done. So that's pretty much the engine done as of episode three. The front end is all done now. It's all replaced. Except for, with the exception of a few parts that I didn't really feel like getting and doing. Although we should have just done it, because I mean we just com we almost completely redid it, so we sh we should have just did it in all reality. But oh well, you know I I might as well just do it right. Might as well just do the rear end. I was gonna save it for episode five, but we're only eleven minutes in, and I've already finished that and done all the tires. That's basically all I had planned for the episode, so I don't know. Let me just clear that out and screw it. We'll just go to town on this. Start ripping and tearing. And then get that off. Get the caliper off. Get that rebuilt. Get the rotor. Chuck that in the garbage. Uh, so you got a couple. It's like a couple long bolts here. Pull those out. So that whole assembly can come off now. So yeah, that'll just pull right out. So this is gonna be fun. We have to take that all apart and replace the shock body. So we'll do that in a moment. I wanna finish getting all these out. I'm gonna need four more of these bolts so I'm gonna get one two three four just get four of those hopefully this will just work yeah that works take the washer off we'll lay that down I don't know if we're gonna need the rear the rear subframe uh, it's at 45 percent I feel like I'll just replace it while we're at it. I mean, we're going to have this whole back portion off, so we might as well just go ahead and replace it. Why not? I said I wanted to completely 100% this car. It's not going to be a true complete 100% just because I'm lazy. And I also forgot a few parts, like I've mentioned a few times now. Uh, I hope that doesn't need to come off. I don't want to have to take that off. But let's get the other side disassembled. I found where the bushing goes. It is on the rear upright on both sides. I <laughs> I found it. All right. So I'm going to run through taking apart the shock body with you. So we're going to start at the top, work our way down. There's a shock nut there. Little top hat washer, then there's a bushing. You're gonna to want to take the top hat cap thing off. Now these springs you can replace if you'd like. And there's a coupler, and there's a helper spring, and then boom, you're left with the shock body. It's pretty simple, but you I have forgotten the nut a few times. And also I think we might go ahead and replace these springs. I think while we're at it. We might as well do it. I keep hitting the wrong buttons. Let's do spring. I think we'll do 700. We'll just do 700 pounders. And I think that'll be that'll be golden. The front ones are already assembled. I think these ones are like yeah, these are 700 pounds too. So those those are perfectly fine. We'll just have 700 all the way around. And these are not gonna stay green. I'm gonna paint these. Uh, I think we could just maybe not blood orange. Let's do the dark blue metallic. That kind of looks like the front ones. That'll work. All right, I'm just gonna set that right there for a second. Grab the other one. Put it over here. So this one I'm just gonna do off camera, but I wanted to show how you can do this 
for anybody who is struggling. I know I struggled for the fir very first time. I think we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll do dark red. Dark red for the helper springs. I think that'll look pretty cool. So then you just do it in reverse. So helper spring, coupler, uh, the main spring, and it's going to go top hat, bushing, washer, and it's going to be the nut. Put that on, make sure you tighten it, and then shock adjuster cap right on top. Which I'm pretty sure you can paint these too. Yep, you can paint those too. So there we go. That's how you put a shock together in wrench, anyway. Don't know how it is in real life. It's probably, I'm pretty sure it's a big pain in the ass, but that's how you do it in the game. So. I'm going to get finished getting everything ready to go, and then I will catch you guys back when I'm ready to put everything back together. All right, we are ready to reassemble. So I'm going to start with the rear subframe, because this is our base for everything. Get that all put back in. And I guess we'll do the lower control arm first. Maybe. Nope, I guess not. Uh... That's not going to work either. Oh, man. Maybe the upper? Upper fits. I just got to remember what goes where here. Oh, these have durability too? Oh, man. Well, I better just go ahead and get four of these. And we'll buy those now before I get too far ahead. I didn't realize these had durability on them. Go ahead and toss those then. Shit, I thought I was prepared and stuff. Those ones have durability too? Oh, man. I think that's for the other side, though. So I might be... Oh, these ones too. Alright, two more. And two of those. Man, I thought I was all prepared and stuff. Now these don't have... These all have durability. Well, we don't want that. Is this box empty? It sure is. Oh man, thought I was all ready and stuff. Well, I'm ready now, so that'll work. Yeah, get rid of all of these. Anything with durability, I need to replace. Can't, can't be having that crap around. Okay, I did get these. I, I was looking for it in my hotbar. Alright. So let's get upper control arm. Get that put back in. And it takes... Where is it? I just saw it. Right there. It takes these bolts. And then we can auto fasten the nuts on. This side's gonna be the same exact thing. So it's gonna be from the inside there. All right, cool. Can we get the lower control arm on? No. What are we missing? Am I missing something here? Well, anyway, I can get this put back together too. I should have done that. Yeah, why can't... Why can't I get the lower control arms on? I have no idea. Can I get these on? No? What is going on here? Why? Passenger side. Ah, I had a fucking flop. 
Okay. That makes sense. All right, eccentric, not lug nuts. And then we need the washers. Then we'll put our eccentric nuts on there. Okay, all right, now we're back in business. I. <laughs> that wasn't good. Um. Crap. Now we gotta figure out what bolt goes there. I know the long ones go down here. I don't think there's any washers. I <laughs> I really hope not. I don't want to put this all together again. I'll take it all apart and put it back together again. I really don't want it to do that. Right, at least we'll get those on. And then something goes here. I just I don't remember what this is the one thing that sucks about doing it this way so I typically I try to do it one side at a time but I'm trying to be quick quick for the content sake and get this done But now I'm paying the price and I don't remember what goes here. So I guess we'll figure it out once we get everything put back. So all that back in there. All that. Get the get the rotors put on and then the calipers. I think they go in the front. Yeah, they do. Now, I'm not sure if we're going to have to bleed the brakes. Not entirely sure. I guess we'll find out. Okay, so all that's back on. So it just takes these bolts. Yep. I'll put the other one in before I start doing that. And the nut. And the nut. Boom. Just like that. So there we go. That is pretty much the entire undercarriage done right there. I think before I put the wheels back on, let's get let's get our transmission and stuff back in. Which, by the way, if you're doing the clutch, you're gonna have to do this bearing right here. It's called the throwout bearing. It comes in your clutch kit if you buy one of them. It comes in that kit. So don't forget to do that. I have. I don't think I've forgotten yet. I almost did though. We got all our bell housing bolts in and then we'll slap our drive shaft in. And we have these bolts right here. I gotta keep an eye out for like what has durability. Uh I'm we're probably gonna end up filling the transmission fluid again. Because I think it does dump out, but we'll see. And then this, we need to put the PPF back in. That goes right there. I got new bolts. These have durability for future reference. I bought these in between episodes. Because I knew I would need them. There we go. That's basically the entire undercarriage done right there. Sweet. Alright, you can get all the all the tires back on we're just about done with this car all we gotta do is fill all the fluids and possibly bleed the brakes and we'll be done all right I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing on the ground for now so I can do all these all these hoses again also I did replace the battery I did that in between episodes as well so that battery on the exoset is right here behind the seats, which none of this needs to be replaced, correct? Yeah, we're good. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm going to start putting some body panels on. We'll see what the car in all its glory. I really like this blood orange color. It looks really good. All right, I don't think any of these... Oh, actually, it might. Nope. 
I don't think so. I don't think this has clips on it. So let's just set it in there. All right, let's get all this done. Got a new dipstick as well. So for this, for these engines, since they're only four cylinders, it takes about, I think we'll do four quarts and go from there. Yeah, right there, perfect. All right, so let's get that in there. Then we're gonna stop at about one quart and check our level. So stop right there, see where we're at, which we are still red. All right, so we'll go down and it's gonna start filling up quick now. So we gotta be careful. We'll go right there. Uh, we're still low. All right, we'll check right there. We're on the bottom end of full. So I think uh, we'll put a little bit more in. Yeah, we're halfway. That's good. That's good. I don't want to overfill it. Get get in there. Come on. All right, so that is full. Oil's full. Now we need. Where's my funnel? Where'd my funnel go? Guess I'm buying a new one. And a drain pan. That's the one thing that sucks about VR is you lose some of your tools that you touch. So like my funnel, I think I touched that. I touched that in VR and I lost it. And my oil pan too, which I don't need this right now, but I like to have it. Actually, you don't even really need it at all. It's just it's good for the immersion, you know. Okay, so we'll use whatever's left of our coolant. So it should take about two bottles to fill this thing. Oh, finally, we're full. Okay, here we go. We're finally full on that. So we can... Well, we probably don't want to put the hood on yet. We'll go ahead and do... The... Brake bleeding process. I don't really want to, but... I guess we can do it. Maybe we might not even need to. I don't want to do it if I don't have to do it. Realistically, you'd have to after literally taking the entire car apart. But since it's a game, I don't think we really have to worry about it. So let's go ahead and test the car and see if there is any issues. I really hope not because <laughs> I don't. One of the issues. Test car. Failing. Failing. Missing parts. Wrist pin on piston. Front UCA washer. Driver side rear to lower control arm. Front UCA washer small. On passenger side lower control arm. Okay, so... It does need the brakes bled. It needs a full drain and replacement on the oil, gear oil. Engine turns over but will not start. 
I'm really hoping it's just because of the pistons, otherwise I know what else is going to be causing it. And I don't really want to deal with it. Because it's going to be timing the engine. Because I know we have spark plugs. So. Yeah, I think it might just be the wrist pins. On pistons. Man. Man. I thought I got everything, but I guess not. Son of a bitch. Now we're going to take the whole fucking engine out again. And we're going to have to redo. Oh, man. We're going to have to redo the oil and the coolant. The oil's not bad because... It was not bad because of this thing. This thing really, I love this thing. This thing's awesome. Little like, uh, what is this called? Like e pods or something? I don't know. It's uh, it's in the catalog here, right here. Castrol, Castrol e pods. These are awesome. Like this thing is sweet. It's great. Uh, man, that sucks. I forgot some wrist pins. <sighs> Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this episode here, and uh, we'll do some troubleshooting in episode five, and we'll try to figure out what's going on with the engine. We're gonna pull the engine back out, and we're just gonna go from the bottom. I'm just gonna pull out the pull out the pistons, and we'll go from there. But thank you guys for watching this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed and. I will see you guys in the next episode. Don't forget the like button and hit the bell notification button. And don't forget to join the pack.